Hi guys and gals, Al Smith here. Today we're going to talk about the last component in the response system where our partner opens one heart or one spade in first or second seat. Specifically, we're going to address the meanings of the two-note trump and three-note trump bids by the responder. Okay, uh, up to now we've discussed uh, how do the two to what the responder bids with five plus cards support, we call this a five and dime. With four plus cards support, we use preemptive raises, wide bergens, splinters, and Jacoby, a variety of bids to show the, the, our, our hands points and shape with four plus support. And with three plus support, we've got raises, limit raises, and two over one bids. So we address pretty much the full spectrum of all of how we're going to respond in, in the various situations. Okay, so today what we're going to talk about is what we do with exactly two card support and blockers in unbid suits and no viable suit bid. We don't have a five plus card suit uh, to, 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 to make a two over one bid or we don't have a blocker in one of the, the suits. So. What are we going to do? Well, if we have, uh, uh, if we meet these requirements with six to 11 points, we're going to bid one no trump. Okay, so it takes care of that initial point range. With 12 to 14, we're going to bid two no trump. With 15 to 17, three no trump. And with 18 plus two no trump. Note that we're using two no trump to represent both of these point ranges that straddle the point range for three no trump. Okay, why are we using exactly two? A lot of the books say two or three. Well, the reason we don't have to address, be concerned with three is because we are using uh, the, uh, the balance limit raise as part of the overall response system. So this gives us a capability of telling our partner when we have exactly three card support and our shape is three, three, four with 10 to 11 points. If we've got 12 plus points, what we can do is make a two over one bid. So we do not have to address the, the situation with three cards support. So our use of two no trump and three no trump explicitly shows two cards support. Okay, what this does is makes it all the two, two no trump and three no trump bids much more specific and makes things a lot easier for the opener to decide what's whether well, this contract should be in no trump or in suit or and what level the contract should be at so again two no trump shows 12 to 14 or 18 plus okay now what why do we want to do this well it makes exploring slam much easier with 18 high card points if the opener bids three no trump after the responders to no trump bid why? Because we just then use Gerber by bidding four clubs. So you've got one heart, uh, two no trump, three no trump by the opener. All the responder needs to do to investigate slam is to bid four clubs to initiate Gerber. It makes things really, really easy, very, very slick. Let's look at a couple examples. In this first example, the, our partner opens one heart. And we, as the responder, we've got 13 high card points. We have two exactly two hearts. We've got in the point range of 12 to 14. We don't have a five card suit. So we don't, we want to tell our partner that we've got 12 to 14 high card points. We've got two card support. And we really don't have a, a, a suit that we're really, really proud of, a five plus card suit. So what do we do? We bid three, uh, we bid two no trump. And then the opener bids three no trumps. So what do we want to do now? Well, our, the opener has limited his or her hand. We've got 12 to 14. We know we've got enough for game. So since we know we don't have enough points for slam, we pass. So that's an example of when you've got a minimal open. So let's look at the, a minimal response by the, 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 the two no trump represents the minimum range. Let's look at an example where the two no trump represent the higher range in this case our partner opens one spade we've got two spades this time 19 high card points okay so what we're going to do we're going to bid two no trump again the opener bids three no trump okay it's a no-brainer now to initiate 
uh, exploring slam by bidding four clubs to initiate river. Okay, 18 plus 13 is 31. We're in the in, in the, the note. We're in the slam range. Less if we're going to bid four clubs to initiate curve. Let's look at this next example here. The opener opens one heart. We bid two no trump, saying we've got exactly two, and we've got between 12 and 14, or 18 plus. Okay, in this case, we've got 13 high card points. The opener then bids three hearts, showing six cards in the uh, six plus cards in the heart suit. So now it becomes a pretty simple matter to say, well, we've got 13, our partner's got 13, that's 26. We know our partner has roughing ability because they've got a six plus card suit. What are we going to bid? We're going to bid four hearts. Okay, we don't want to bid no trump here because we've got weak spades. We don't know what our partner there has in spades. And there's no real way of asking our partner if they have spade support. So we know that we've got at least an eight cards trump suit, so we want to bid four hearts. And let's take a look at the three no trump situation. Um, this one, three no trump shows exactly 15 to 17 high card points, again, with exactly two card support. All right, this makes exploring slam easy if the opener, if the op if the opener ha has 16 plus high card points. Okay, so the opener can then pass with a balanced hand and not strong enough to explore slam. Okay, again, with a balanced hand, three no trump with, uh, is probably going to explore better than four of the major. Now notice it's a balanced hand, probably five, three, three, two. Okay, they can bid four of the major with a six plus card suit. So they know they've got six, at least the partner has at least two, uh, two card support in the trump suit, they've got six plus, it's easy to go to, to four of the game, four of the major, <clears throat> which shows that they don't want to explore slam. It's a, it's a sign off, it's a game sign off bit. Okay, if they want to initiate, if the opener wants to initiate uh, exploring slam, they can do it in one of two ways. They can initiate bid four clubs to initiate Gerber, the first club bid after no trump, or they can bid, bid a new suit showing first or second round control. Let's take a look at a couple of when the responder bids three no trump. Okay, in this one, our, our partner opens one heart and we as the responder bid three no. But back to the, the opener, opener's got what? It's got a five, three, three, two balanced hand. You got uh, 13, uh, four, 10, 12, 13, 14 distribution points. Okay, okay, so they got really 13 high card points with 17, uh, if it's 17 high card points, if our partner has the maximum, that's 30, that's not enough for slam. We need to have be in the 32 point range to explore slam. So what are we going to do here? We can do one of two things. We can pass three no trump, or we can bid four hearts. Since we've got a balanced hand, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of a chance and bid uh, pass and play the contract at three no trump. Why? Well, we've got, we'll kind of have a weakish hand, and we'd rather be able to be required to only take nine trucks, tricks instead of 10. So the odds are much in our favor by playing this contract in three no trump. Let's look at the second example here. We open one heart, our partner bids three no trump. We know our partner's got 15 to 17. Okay, in this one, we've got a five, three, three, two balanced hand. We have 15 high card points, 15. Uh, uh, points. We've got 12, 14, 15 high card points. 15 plus 17 is 32 if our partner has the max in the 15 to 17 point range. Even if they've got the average of 31, we're still in close to the no trump range. So what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and ask our partner how many aces they have by using Gerber. Based upon that answer, then we know uh, we can determine whether we want to play this contract in four hearts, in four no trump, or go to slam. Let's look at example number three. In this one, we open one heart, our partner goes to three no. Well, we've got a nice hand here. We've got six hearts and 16 plus length points. Our prior partner has promised us two card support. Hey, we've got, that gives us an eight card fit. That's great, okay? And now, 
we can, uh, we've got 16 and that gives us 33 together if our partner has a maximum. The average would be 32. And even if the partner's got a minimum, we're still right on the cusp of wanting to explore SLAM. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bid four diamonds as a control bid to show first or second round control in, in, uh, in, in diamonds. Now, by bidding four diamonds, that says we, uh, we, we don't have a blocker in spades and we probably don't have a blocker in clubs. So that gives our partner a lot of information about the strength of our hands. We're saying, hey, we're interested in the slam if you've got the right values. And I'm probably missing, I don't have a control in spades and I probably don't have a control in clubs. If your hand fits well with mine, initiate, tell me more about your hand by either bidding a control or bidding uh, 1430 or 3014, whichever key card asks that you use and explore slam. Let's look at one more example. Here, uh, we open one spade, our partner bids three no trump. Okay, we've got uh, six spades and 14 length points. Okay, now, we know that we've got six. We know our partner has promised us two. We've got a distributional hand. So what are we going to do? We're going to be four spades to sign off because we know this hand is going to be played better in a suit contract than in no trump. And we also know that we don't have enough points to explore slam. So let's take a look at kind of in summary of, of, of uh, all the lessons up to date. Okay, if our partner opens one heart, here is the full range of responses that the responder can make. Okay, and it lays these out in, in, in detail in terms of the number of cards of support and the points and so forth. Same is true in terms of spades. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to go through this because this is the summary of the, the first 10 lessons. And just as a reminder, here's a graphic to show how the pieces of the crossword puzzle, the, uh, the jigsaw puzzle, fit together. So, use these to kind of review what the, in summary form of uh, the, the, the prior 10 lessons and use that as, as a way to kind of consolidate all the information. Okay, if you have any questions, send me an email or give me a call. That summarizes the, 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 the lesson for today. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, give me a call, send me an email. Have a great day.